Today for maths, we are going to be learning about estimating how long something will take to do. So the, another way to say this is to talk about the duration of something. So we're going to be looking at how long things take and how we measure them, what units we use. So there are a few different units of time that we can use to estimate how long something will take. I want you to pause me and think of as many as you can. So some of the answers you might have come up with will be seconds or even milliseconds um, as well. You could then think of hours, you could think of days, months, years, decades, centuries, millennia. All of those will um, be good ways to measure certain times or durations of time. Let's play a little bit of a game where we I'm going to give you an event and I would like you to write down how long you think it will take and you can you'll have to choose what units you're going to use so you could use seconds milliseconds hours days decades centuries millennium years any of those ones that you think are appropriate just as a bit of a reminder a decade is 10 years a century is a hundred and a millennium is a thousand and there are 365 days in a year 60 seconds in a minute and 24 hours in ad art <laughs> 60 seconds in a minute 60 minutes in an hour and 24 hours in a day. Sorry, primary six, it's the end of a long week. My brain's gone a bit fuzzy. Okay, so there are going to be eight questions. I'll read them all out and I want you to write down how long you think it'll take and what your unit is that you've chosen to do. Pause me in between. I'll go through them quite quickly, but pause after each question until you have enough time to write them down. And then after I've done them all, I'll go through the answers. So our first one is how long would it take you to sharpen a pencil? Next one, how long would it take you to boil an egg? Number three, how long do you think it will take you to finish primary six? So how much time have we got left in primary six? Number four, how long does it take you to write a story? Number five, how long would it take if you got in the car just now, obviously not you driving, but somebody else driving, how long would it take to drive to London, which is in the south of England? Number six, how long do you think it will be before humans get to Mars? Number seven, how long do you think it would take you to run 100 metres? And finally, number eight, how long do you think it would take you to watch a whole TV series on Netflix? So let's use an example. Maybe there's 20 episodes in each season and there are five seasons. So how long do you think that would take you to watch on Netflix? Okay, so hopefully you've got eight answers written down to those questions. Let's go through and decide what we think for each of them. Now remember, I am just estimating as well. I don't know the exact answers. So use a bit of common sense. If it's a very similar answer, then it'll be absolutely fine. My, our first one was how long to sharpen a pencil. So I would say it would take roughly 30 seconds, but I'm sure for some of you knowing how much we like to stand at the bin having a chat, you might use minutes. I would hope nobody would be using hours for that one. Our next one is how long to boil an egg. So that one would be in minutes. I think it's about six minutes. I could be wrong. I don't really boil eggs very often, but it's definitely not longer than an hour. And it definitely doesn't take seconds either. Number three, how long will it take until you're done with P6, until we get to the end of the school year? Um, you could estimate that in weeks. I think it's about 20-ish weeks. Not 100% sure, I'd need to check. But 20-ish weeks. Um, you could also use days. It's probably something, if we think about school days, probably about 90 to 100 school days left um, in primary six. So you could either use days or weeks for that one. The fourth one was how long will it take you to write a story? This will be quite dependent on you, how long the story is going to be, but I would say you would estimate that either in minutes or in hours if you were going for a bit of a longer story. Number five, how long would it take if you jumped in the car just now and off you went to London? It would take hours. I would say I think it's about five or six hours in the car to London. I'm not 100% sure. I did drive it a long time ago, but not recently. 
But yes, hours for that one. Uh, number six, how long do you think it'll be until humans go to Mars? This is a bit of a strange one because nobody really knows the answer to this. It might be never for all we know. Um, I would say probably decades, maybe, I don't know, or centuries for that one. Um, but that one's a bit more open-ended. I don't think it'll be next year when they put humans on Mars, but it does seem to be something they're planning on doing at some point. Number seven, um, how long will it take you to run 100 metres? So for this one, um, I think Usain Bolt manages it in something like 20 seconds, so probably about 30, 40 seconds um, for that one. But yeah, in seconds rather than minutes for that. And then finally, we've got how long would it take you to watch that series on Netflix? Quite a long series. I would say I would estimate that in days or weeks, depends how much TV you watch. But yeah, days or weeks, maybe months, because it is quite a long one. Any of those would be appropriate. I, would, I don't think it would maybe take you years, but some people might just watch one the old time. But as long as you've thought carefully about how long it would take you and you've got a reason for your choice, that is absolutely fine. So hopefully that gives you a bit of uh, time to think about the different amounts of time that things take and also the different units of time that we use to measure things. So for our task, I want you to look at the little grid that I've popped onto the file section. Um, you obviously don't need to print it, you can just write it down. So it's got some activities on it and then it asks you to estimate how long they'll take and then do them and you time them and see what the difference is between your estimate and the actual time. See how accurate you are. The last ones on the grid are blank, so you have to choose some activities of your own for that one. Um, and if you wanted to do a few more than the boxes on the grid, that would be fine as well.